Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you guys today. All right, so to start off, I'm taking the Ben Nye Face Cream uh, color in the color Clown White. Um, okay, so this was my first time using this product. I have a little bit of mixed feelings about it. It goes on pretty dry, so if you have oily skin, I think this would be really good for you. But since I'm super dry and I have um, been having a little bit of breakout recently, my skin was uh, not really taking this as much as well as it could. So I had to keep hydrating my face with Fix Plus every time I would um, apply it. But anyways, um, I did a fairly good layer um, over the entire face. As you can see, I left my um, eyes open um, right above my eyebrows. And then I set with a translucent powder um, by MAC. I think it's a pro product, but I'll leave it in the description bar below. Um, okay, so next I'm taking a MAC 217 and I'm taking my Inglot Gel Liner. I decided to use a gel liner instead of the um, activated water face paint that I bought. Um, I don't know, I just felt like it was so much easier and I wasn't really in the mood to, you know, fidget with other stuff. But now I'm taking a black coal pencil. This is Smolder by MAC. You can use any creamy black eyeliner that you have and I'm basically just um, making two circles right around my eyes. They don't have to be necessarily extremely perfect and I kind of realized I should have done this before I even started filling in my eyes but, you know, this was my first time ever doing a skull so um, I was just kind of a little bit nervous and I was just trying to go with the flow but yeah so basically I'm showing you guys this part because I have naturally really dark eyebrows so it's easy for me to cover with the black if you have more of a blonde eyebrow or you just feel like your eyebrows are really uh, thick um, I don't know if you just feel like this is not going to cover your eyebrows Then I would definitely recommend using concealer or a glue stick and covering your eyebrows I'm sure there's so many videos on YouTube um, on how to cover your brows, but anyways, okay So once I've filled in the two holes, I am now uh, kind of making these little um, Almost like the shallow part of the of a skull if you would look at a picture of it and I'm not doing them Identical to one another. I'm kind of doing them in the same place But just I want to make them a little bit different. So, you know, everyone's face is different so if you were to look at a a skull then it wouldn't be exactly the same so I'm using that on a um, Mac 266 you can you can use any angled brush that you have um, or a small detail brush I just realized that the um, point from the um, angled brush was really easy to kind of manipulate the line with and then I filled in my waterline make sure it's as black as possible all right so now moving on I'm using the duo adhesive that dries clear you can use any adhesive that you have I would just definitely recommend it dry clear not black because it's a little bit messy um, and I got these little pearls and jewels from Michael's craft store but just any would work and I'm doing um, a jewel pearl jewel pearl in that order and then I added those same little things on the bottom of my eye and as you can see I kind of um, wanted to make the um, jewels kind of differently on each eye so on the bottom of my right eye it's bare and then on the left side of my left eye it's bare there so I kind of just want to make them a little bit different I didn't want to do identical on both sides but anyways now I'm using the angled brush again with the black gel liner to carve out my nose I'm doing two different points one higher than the other and I'm not filling my entire nose in um, as you can see on the sides of my nose it's um, still white but if you feel like it doesn't look that good on you then I would suggest filling in your whole nose just depending on the shape if you have more of a wide nose I would definitely fill it in because um, it'll it won't really look right um, I, as I've seen on other people but since I have more of a narrow nose I feel like it didn't look as bad but anyways I'm taking again the black gel liner and my angled brush and I'm just kind of shaping the um, jaw out a little bit I looked at a picture of crispy and then also other ones that I looked on the internet for like just different photos to get inspiration I didn't necessarily want to copy crispy because her, her skull is a little bit different than the way I wanted to do mine but it's basically the same uh, just look at a picture and follow along for the teeth as I said before this was my first time ever doing a skull look so it was a little bit difficult for me um, but it I just took my time and I really concentrated on um, you know just stepping back and looking and seeing what needed to be done so as of right here I'm doing these pointy teeth 
I would recommend not doing that. Like I said again, it was my first time, so it is a learning experience. But yeah, I would just definitely not recommend doing um, more of a point, and I would kind of leave uh, the point almost open because um, it was a little bit harder to fix once the shading came along. So I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm taking the um, almost really dirty gray color, and I'm kind of um, using that to shade the sides of the teeth on a MAC 239 and I'm wiping off the extra product and then I'm going in with it and then I took a clean 217 to blend it out. As you can see here I'm adding a little bit more teeth on the back of the jaw and I feel like this kind of brought it to life a little bit and again I'm shading it. So I definitely wanted to say that um, bringing down the shadow kind of gave it more character and it kind of made it look a little bit better. After you shade it with the 239 or whatever brush you have, go in with the 217 or a clean blending brush and it really helps to fade the color out and make it look more realistic. Now I'm taking a flat synthetic brush with a black shadow and I'm going in on the sides of the teeth and making sure that there's no, absolutely no white showing and this will really, really bring it to life and it looks super cool after. Okay, so now for the rest of the shading, this is basically what brings your skull to life and it just makes it look so realistic and awesome. Um, just make sure you look at different pictures like I said before and kind of see where you would want to shade. Um, I'm taking again that flat synthetic brush and this is a technique that I've, I do basically for the rest of the skull. I go and make a line and then I get a little bit, just a tiny bit more product on the tip of the brush and I flick it upward so it kind of gives this nice faded look. And don't forget, um, if you are going to wear your hair up, you definitely want to um, bring everything back as close to the hairline as possible. But what I personally would recommend is wearing your hair down if you're going to do this look because it just makes the hairline um, not as visible and you can't really see where everything starts and stops. So I would definitely recommend that um, from personal experience. Um, okay, so now I'm just shading the bottom of the jaw. And I'm just going to go back in and fix little things that I feel like needs to be filled. Um, after you shade, I noticed that the whites of the teeth kind of get a little bit dirty. So I went in again with um, a little bit of that white paint. And since it was mixed with the black, it kind of made the teeth look kind of dirty and almost like an off white color, which actually made it look even better. So I would really suggest kind of you know, going in with a little precision brush. Okay, so I know I filled in my whole face um, at the beginning, but I didn't know this was what I wanted to do, but since I was kind of inspired after seeing a few different photos, um, I wanted to do something where uh, I can incorporate blood. So I used a uh, makeup wipe to kind of shape out the um, almost like crooked line that uh, fades into my skin and then I applied a very very full coverage foundation to you know make it a little bit more obvious that I am wearing makeup so I would definitely suggest that something that actually shows you're wearing makeup um, and that's more of like a heavy coverage so to fade the um, skull part into my skin I'm doing the exact same thing taking the black and smutty gray shadow mixed together and then I'm making the line and flicking it upward and then going back in with my blending brush and then making sure that everything fades into the white seamlessly. So I bought um, these black jewels that I really, really wanted to use. So I'm just using this to um, almost like a barrier into the skin. So as you can see, I just applied it in the exact same way that I did the um, eye sockets. All right, so for the mouth, I am I mean, well, not mouth, but for the regular lip side, I wanted to do a blood red color. So I'm using Max Burgundy Lip Liner, and then I'm going in with a um, like I said, a darker red that kind of resembles blood um, liquid lipstick and I'm filling my whole lips in with that. Another quick tip that I have for you is um, to definitely set your eyes with black 
powder or shadow or anything that you have that will you know just set that eyeliner or cream whatever you're using um, because then it will crease I didn't personally do that because I didn't think about it at first and then also I didn't think about it at the end really because right after I finished filming I took it off but if you want to um, wear this out or ensure that it lasts longer definitely definitely set it with the powder so it won't crease and it won't have that shiny look to it, it I feel in personal in my personal opinion it looks better um, matte um, to look more realistic and pictures and stuff but if you like that really cool greasy look then um, set it with like a lip gloss or something and it'll start creasing but it, it'll give it that shiny look all right so now I'm just filling in the sides of my head with the exact same process I filled in like the where my hairline is with all the um, eyeliner and then I made the line right on top of it or I guess on the bottom of it and then I did the same thing basically just with the line the flicking and then the blending so it's definitely a process but it looks and comes to life with all that detail and then I'm just taking um, black eyeshadow on um, a little definer eyeliner brush and I'm making little cracks you can definitely be random with it I think the more random the better it looks just more realistic to me and then um, I took some blood put it on the side of my mouth and that is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I hope you guys learned something. Like I said, it was my first time ever doing a skull, but I was obsessed with the way it came out. Like I said, um, I have a lot of looks coming out for you guys, so definitely don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my other social media platforms. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!